One of the most important things we do here at the Center for Conflict Resolution is work with community members. There are organizations that have decided to be in areas where there's a lot of need, like Cherith Brook and Journey to New Life. Well, we had a lady uh, in the class that was really in a, in a difficult place in life. And so working with people in those areas um, can help them be safer and know how to deal with conflict when it comes up so they don't resort to violence. They pulled a gun on her or a weapon. I don't have to raise my voice to get my point across. I would get up in your face and ready to fight and yell and scream. When people return to the community, we want to make sure that they're able to hold jobs and to get along with family members and um, to have peaceful relationships. So one of the things that we teach is that we all have choices in conflict. Um, there are certain ways that we um, deal with, with conflict when it comes up. Sometimes one choice is better than another. And she ended up backing away from the situation and stepping away. We try to move people towards a collaborative approach or a collaborative choice in conflict so that we're not forcing what we want on others, so that we're not withdrawing from conflict, but moving towards it in helpful ways. And the choice that she made was one that we call it avoidance or a turtle. And that was the perfect choice to make, especially in a dangerous situation. We're working with um, former offenders who are, are coming back into society and needing to learn skills for conflict resolution and communication. And so we talk about the five choices that we have in conflict. And when people hear that and, and um, recognize that they have a choice, that's empowering for them. She really understood that she could have made a different choice. Had she not been in that class, she probably would have lost her life or been uh, severely hurt that night. We also work with neighborhood associations. A lot of times they have conflict and we can go in and help them um, facilitate uh, meetings better or in ways that are more collaborative. And so when conflict arises, they think, what choice would be the most helpful for me in this situation? 